NASA had no choice but to become involved. The X-44 Manta is the name of this fighter. It is being built using the world's most advanced fighter jet, the F-22 Raptor, as a testbed. The X-44 Manta is projected to be the U.S. go-to fighter to bring other sixth-generation soldiers in line, as well as a continual reminder to Russia of who truly rules the sky. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about Russia Panic. This is America's sixth-generation fighter jet. Before we start the video, please like, share, and subscribe bell icon. The X-44 multi-axis no-tail aircraft, also known as the X-44 Manta, dates back to 1999, when Lockheed Martin planned to construct a fighter with no conventional tail section, vertical stabilizers, or rudder surfaces, in stark contrast to every advanced fighter since the dawn of time. This incredibly unique aircraft would have horizontal and vertical control surfaces, which are often found on standard jet tails and replaced with high-tech 360-degree thrust vector control capabilities for yaw, pitch, and roll control. This results in superior acrobatic ability over the opposing aircraft in the dogfighting arena. Instead of starting from scratch, Lockheed Martin's initial step in developing 44 Manta was to select a testbed on which it would be built. And what better choice for that duty than the F-22 Raptor, the best air superiority fighter in history? Two decades have passed, and concepts for the X-44 Manta have been released, with one idea appearing in nearly all official drawings of the Air Force's future air supremacy fighter. The Next Generation Air Dominance Program, or NGAD for short, is developing the fighter. A program seeking $1.5 billion in funding, a $621 million increase over what was planned for the program in the fiscal year 2021. Despite the financing, the arrival of American sixth-generation fighters remains a long way off. As a result, there are some doubts about whether the X-44 will be selected as the top fighter. After all, its concept predates the 21st century and may be obsolete by now. Other nations are now aware of the tailless American fighter and may be developing fighters capable of competing with it. Well, the U.S. military has never been one to alter its plans due to concerns about piracy. They get it done to an unrivaled standard. And with their recent announcement that they had already designed, built, and tested a prototype aircraft from the NGAD program, followed by a birthday celebration image that featured a wedge-shaped aircraft with no conventional tail section, it's safe to say that some aircraft that had been in development for quite some time has come to life point one that has a striking resemblance to the X-44 Manta, at the very least. However, there is a problem for reasonable reasons. There has been speculation that the eventual fighter of the NGAD program will be an upgraded version of Northrop's YF-23 fighter. That is now in a museum owing to the F-22 Raptor, which narrowly beat the YF-23 to become the world's first fifth-generation fighter 30 years ago. So a rematch between these two fighters is possible, but this time in the guise of offspring vying for control of the front lines of the next generation of American Air Force fleets. However, the F-22 appears to be regaining the lead, as its discontent, the X-44 Manta, already has a name accompanied by inconceivable powers, Lockheed Martin, being the behemoth that they are, collaborated with NASA in the development of the Manta, which appears to be a brilliant move given that NASA, in the form of the F-15 Active, had already made significant progress in developing an acrobatic fighter that could forego using its tail for handling and direction control and instead, rely entirely on thrust vectoring alone. By incorporating this technology into the Manta, along with its delta-shaped wing and tailless design, the aircraft's radar is considerably reduced, ultimately making it the stealthiest fighter ever. The X-44 Manta would also have more ammunition and be more maneuverable than the Raptor despite its thrust vectoring capability, one of many advantages that make it a more plausible testbed for the Manta. The F-16 Fighting Falcon's qualities made it a perfect testbed for the F-16 XL. Existing aircraft must do two things to qualify as a testbed to develop revolutionary concept aircraft. Bring their A-game and be on their best behavior. Two things the F-22 has done exceptionally well in the past. 
It starts with the F-22's thrust vectoring capabilities, which allow it to take to the skies faster and for a shorter distance than non-thrust vectoring fighters to its massive suite of advanced technology, which includes a high degree of sensor fusion that produces superb situational awareness and top-of-the-line stealth due to being designed from the ground up with low detection in mind. This starkly contrasted to many other fighters who were developed mainly by raw force and focus. Only later were stealth measures such as radar absorbent covering surrounding the aircraft added. In terms of airframes, the F-22 also won the gold medal. It has an airframe that supports high supercruise and is powered by two Pratt Whitney F-119 engines that push the fighter in any direction with a combined thrust of 70,000 pounds. The increased speed, along with the Raptor's improved maneuverability, necessitates the installation of white flags at the nose of foreign aircraft. To make it easier for them to surrender before engaging in a duel with the F-22 Raptor, they cannot win this battle. The X-44 Manta intends to extend this domination even further, with improvements in almost every area of the F-22, as well as enhanced fuel and ordnance capacity thanks to its entire Delta Wing. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.